All right, what's up guys? So today we're gonna to talk about if it's vegan to shop at non-vegan businesses. So I made a post on this specific topic on Instagram. It was titled, is shopping at Walmart vegan? And the reason I made that post is because there's some people on Twitter and I've seen just in the vegan community in general that condemn and think that it's not vegan to go and shop for plant-based products at non-vegan establishments and non-vegan businesses. You know, for example, buying rice at Walmart because these businesses are not vegan, they profit from animal agriculture. So I don't really agree with this at all and I think there's two reasons why this is absurd. So number one, if we start to make the vegan standard that you have to only buy things from vegan businesses, you're only gonna be buying things from about 1% if not even less of businesses because most businesses are not vegan. So imagine how practical it would be to start advocating for veganism and saying, that, oh, if you go vegan, you can only shop at only vegan businesses. You can't go to Walmart to buy rice. You have to go find a specifically vegan store or vegan online business that sells rice, okay? This is very impractical and people already have enough excuses to not go vegan. So I don't think that's reasonable at all. And from an economics perspective, this doesn't really make sense either because when it comes to buying rice from Walmart or buying a plant-based product from a non-vegan business, you are funding the plant-based sector. You're not putting in demand animal agriculture. You're not putting in demand animal suffering. So there's two big problems with this kind of attitude. Number one, how impractical it would be to be vegan if we only shopped at vegan businesses. Here's an example. I mean, if you wanted to get a plumber at your house, okay, and you hired a non-vegan plumber, the problem is, right, that you're going to be profiting that non-vegan plumber, and he's going to be using that money to go fund animal agriculture, right? In the same way that if you buy plant-based rice from a Walmart or from a store, that money might be used to fund animal agriculture. So when we think about it, you're buying a vegan service from a plumber when you get a plumber to go plumb your house, and you also buy a vegan service, you know, rice, for example, or a plant-based service from Walmart. You're not funding and putting in demand animal agriculture. And if you're going to say that it's wrong to fund Walmart and buy rice from Walmart because that money might go towards animal agriculture, you also would have to find a vegan plumber to plumb your house because they might use that money to go fund animal agriculture. And the logical extension of this attitude is that we can't really fund any kind of business that just isn't vegan. This kind of thing would apply to all kinds of businesses that you want to get services from. You know, if you wanted a painter, you'd have to find a vegan painter because if you pay the non-vegan painter, he might use that money to go fund animal agriculture. In the same way that if you buy rice from Walmart, they might use that money to fund animal agriculture. So the idea that it's wrong to give profits to non-vegan companies through buying plant-based items and items that don't put in demand animal suffering, that idea is extremely flawed because we would only be able to shop at literally less than 1% of businesses. And imagine if we were in the streets telling people, yeah, oh, you want to go vegan? Well, you can't actually shop at Walmart. If you want to get a plumber, you have to find a vegan plumber. This is why this attitude is so erroneous and fallacious. And it would only make it that much harder to convince people to go vegan. And I've seen people that believe in this. It's just absurd. And we will get nowhere if we have vegans advocating for this kind of thing on a mass scale. So we need to be reasonable and logical about our vegan advocacy and understand that if you buy rice from Walmart, that money is funding the plant-based sector. If you hire a non-vegan plumber, you're paying for a service that doesn't directly put in demand animal suffering, etc. So that's the end of the video. To summarize, the two main flaws of this argument is that number one, it would make it so that being vegan would be so impractical. And number two, when you buy rice or buy a plant-based item or a item that doesn't involve animal products from a non-vegan business, you are not directly putting in demand animal suffering or animal agriculture or increasing the supply of animals, hence the amount of animals bred into existence that are going to suffer. That is not what's happening when you buy rice from Walmart or any of the other examples I gave. That's the end of the video, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, subscribe, all that bullshit, and I'll see you in the next video.